Today uh, was the end of two days of uh, Development and Climate Days, which is a two-day uh, weekend event that IIED, uh, together with partners, uh, Stockholm Environment Institute and the International Institute for Sustainable Development, have been doing for a number of years at the conferences of parties. And the idea of the event is to bring together people uh, mainly from a development background who aren't familiar with the climate change issue and may, many of whom may be here for the first time. We also get a lot of journalists from the developing world, uh, many of whom have been brought here by IIED together with PANOS and Internews, uh, to talk about issues, development issues as they relate to climate change, primarily to do with adaptation. And over the two days, we start with the first day we call development days, and this time we focused on vulnerable groups of which the first was women, the second were children, and the third were people living in islands and in the Arctic. And then it ended with a high-level event on issues related to climate change and human rights and justice, uh, which went very well. The second day today, we started with uh, looking at uh, climate change policy, and then looking at community-based adaptation, and then thirdly looking at uh, making adaptation uh, effective and finally we ended with a high level session on adaptation funding. Again we had a record turnout over the course of the two days we had about 600 people come through from about 70 or plus countries many of them delegates many of them NGOs many of them media many of them scientists and researchers uh, the final session was standing room only uh, and people just lined up to ask questions and we had to cut them off because uh, there just wasn't enough time and we finished. So it was, from our point of view, a very successful event. A lot of people uh, spoke very highly of it. It will be covered by the Earth Negotiations Bulletin, who will put it up on their website. And in the next few days, over the second week of the COP, we'll have hard copies for distribution at the COP for the ministers and high-level officials who arrive next week. Uh, as who will then be able to read about it and know what happened and be able to contact people who spoke at the event. One of the things we've been doing for the last couple of years as an experiment, we started it very much experimentally in Bali at the last COP, was to have a parallel event with videos that people had submitted where they would show the video, we would show the video and they would be there to answer questions afterwards. That went very well in Bali, so we decided to do it again here. This time we were much more systematic. We asked for video uh, inputs from people before the COP. We got over 50 of them uh, submitted. We put them into batches uh, in different sessions and showed them with, again, discussions about the, the content of the video. They were very, very well received. So for us, it was a very successful two-day uh, development in Climate Days, and we look forward to doing it again next year.